I had to judge how good technically a chef is, I probably would ask him to do an omelette. It is difficult to make a real good omelette. And there is different type of omelette. I'm going to show you two types of omelette. A kind of country French omelette, which is basically the way we do it in America, and then a classic French omelette. One is not better than the other. It's just a different technique, a different taste, a different look that you have in it. In the first one, I'm doing a, an omelette with four eggs here. In the first one, salt, that's of pepper. All I'm going to do is to stir it well first and cook it so that I have fairly large curd of egg and slightly brown all around, which is the look and the taste that we want to do country-like. A little piece of uh, butter in there. And I have here a beautiful pan, because that pan doesn't have any corner. You see, it has a beautiful sway. It's a non-stick pan, so it's ideal. It's an omelette pan, actually. Now, notice that my eggs, to start with, I have no pieces of egg white hanging. So it's not like you just stir the eggs back and forth. You have to go from one hand to the other to really break it so that you don't have any long piece of egg white. Otherwise, you have those uh, becoming white in the plate, in, in, the, in the skillet as it cooked. So what we do here, in the country omelette, let it brown a little bit. See the eggs, the, the, the butter here will be brown a little bit, which in the classic omelette I don't want to brown. So clean up your pan good. And here you don't have to worry too much, you move it occasionally to take the large curd like this, and those large curd replace them by liquid. This will be totally different in the classic French omelette where I move the mixture very, very fast, as fast as I can to have the smallest possible curd. No browning at all because the browning will toughen the albumin. I want something very tender and very soft in a classic French omelette. In the country style, is different. Now, how long do you cook it? It's entirely up to you. You can have it slightly wet in the center. I like it a bit wet. I would say that here my omelette is still a little bit wet here, which is the way I like it personally. But I would probably brown it just a minute or so, then kind of uh, fold it in, in half like this. I would, at that point, maybe put a little piece of extra butter, if I want, in the bottom here to brown the bottom of my omelette. And now I'm ready to invert the omelette. This way here, you change hand, you grab the handle this way, you bang it a little bit to make it slight to the end, and you turn it upside down. You have a nice, beautifully brown omelette. This is a country omelette, but you can see fairly large curd and all this. One way of doing it. Now for the classic French omelette, the technique is different. First clean up your plate, your uh, skillet rather, put it there. I have a great amount of heat on that uh, on that uh, pan, and this is what I want for an omelette. And as you see, it is a gas stove. And of course, the gas is going to be much better than electric because you want to have the flame to go around. And a good stove should give you a great amount of heat for an omelette as well as a very low setting if you want to simmer something. So there again, I have four eggs. In that omelette this time, I put a little bit of chive, actually a classic omelette fin herb, fine herb omelette in France. You have chive, parsley, tarragon and chervil, which is a classic omelette. But this one, just a chive omelette. So you can see here that my pan is hot, but I don't want it as hot as the other one. So again, we put it in there. And now, contrary to what I did before, just letting uh, the eggs get into large curd here with the bowl of, of uh, the fork, I want to bring this around and stir it as fast as I can smallest possible cure than at the end of it, about at the end of it, like now, I want to bring all of the mixture I bring on this side. As you can see, basically everything is there. That is, instead of having one layer, which I roll like a carpet, everything is there. Run my knife around, bring back the lip, and you can see here I want to have a nice half moon shape. Run this behind to bring back that lip. Hit it there, which, as you can see, bring it up. Then push it down, you want a nice corner, and you don't even want to brown it further. This is the time between the lip now that you would want to stuff it, if you have some type of stuffing. 
we change hand again bring that this way next bring it to have it to the edge of the pan then invert it to have an omelette a classic omelette which should be white like this or pale yellow just point it at the end like this smooth without any pleat this is what a classic french omelette is and as you can see, quite different than that. And as I said before, one is not really necessarily better than the other. It's a different technique and a different taste. The curds are going to be much harder here. And if I cut this one open to show it to you, then you will see that the center of that omelette is very creamy and very soft, very nice, which is the way the classic omelette should be.